Hello everyone, welcome to Spinky Guitars YouTube channel. I have another unboxing today for KRK Rocket Rocket 5 Studio Monitors. Uh, these are the 7 inch um, active monitors. Um, I have done some recording in the past, uh, about a year ago, um, however I just had basic equipment, uh, just a laptop, um, at that time I just went directly from a Blackstar um, mini combo into, uh, into plugged into the uh, laptop. So um, this time around I'm going to be doing it a little more properly. So uh, as for those of you who may be following the channel, I have already unbo unboxed the uh, the audio interface with the Focusrite Scarlett TY2, um, some mics, and now we have some studio monitors. And once I get all of that set up, um, we'll be getting on to uh, actual guitar reviews and pedals and stuff like that, but mostly guitars. So let's get started with this. Hard to get out. Rocket Five. Professional powered near field studio monitor with Kevlar drivers. Kevlar tweeter 7 inch G4. So these are the generation 4 studio monitors. Number one brand in the world. Hmm. Well, we will find out if it's number one. I'm going to flip this over again so I don't damage it. Quick start guide. Oh, 
Oh, that's upside down. Wow, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to give these monitors uh, a run for their money. Cord. Let's flip this over again. I don't think this is the ideal way of unboxing it. Oh, no wonder it's stuck. There we have it folks, a 7-inch Rocket 5 from KRK, Generation 4. These are just right for my purpose. My room isn't very big. I was debating whether, whether to get the uh, the 5-inch five, the five inch monitors or the big 8-inch. I didn't, I didn't, I was, initially I wanted the 8-inch, uh, but because the room is so small, the seven inch are just perfect and i thought uh, the five inch would have not they probably would have been sufficient for this room the five inch but um i went ahead with the seven inch and after doing a bit of research um these monitors apparently uh once you set them up they, they set up based on the room, um, the dimensions of the room, um, and it gets uh, the equalizer sets itself up, um, yeah, based on the on the configuration of your room. Um, I haven't went through the, the guide yet, but I think that's, obviously there's many adjustments to, uh, to the base and treble, but um, yeah, once I get these guys set up, um, I'll let you know how it works, if you want to hear, well I guess you guys will just have to buy your own to see, to see uh, how good the, uh, the audio is, there's a couple of other things I'd like to have here. I also have the stands 
Well, let's unbox one. I have two stands for these monitors. Tape for the monitors. This is the floor base plate that so stabilizes the actual power. I don't think you guys want to see me set that up, but uh, maybe I'll take a picture or, or something once it's, once everything's all set up and hooked up to uh, this little fella here, the focus right. So the way it hooks up is So you get the two uh, speaker cables, quarter inch, and they have to be balanced. Yeah, balanced cables. So what balance means is it has two uh, two rings, one, two. So these are for speakers. Um, regular instrument cables, like the ones you use for uh, your guitar, you can plug into your amp and into your guitar, will only have one one ring here and not the second one so this one end will go into this output here from the monitor into into the line outputs of your uh, interface and in this case my focus right scarlet left and right um, and I, I think a new feature of the generation four, um, is you could have both an XLR output or a line instrument like this one here in the middle, or you could use, um, the one with the three prongs, such as a mic into that power cord goes in here on and off. And yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video, the unboxing. Um, I'll see you guys in the, on the next uh, the next upload. Take care.